All right. Let me check. Uh, let's see if we got sound. Let me pull something up right quick. Bear with me. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Pull something up right quick, bear with me. All right, we got sound. We're good to go. All right, first and foremost, I'm going to start <clears throat> by giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity to the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations and to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. All right. <clears throat> I'm the uh, I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone, Chicago. All right. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father. All right, Ba Hashem in Hebrew means in the name. Ba in Ha the Shem name. Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. All right, and Rechak Wadash is the uh, Spirit Holy, which is the Holy Spirit. All right, I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago, and uh, want to hop into a lesson um, going into. Something that happened, I want to say about uh, last week or so, you got the, um, all right, going into the Hebrew Israelites, all right, you got, um, hey, Shalom, Shalom, um, is that uh, Elder Maya Ka'ala from Great Millstone, Chicago? I think that's him. Shalom, brother. All right, there is, uh, you got the, this uh, this group called the... Um, they call themselves the, uh, the Sakari. Hey, Shalom, I'm Elder Southside. All right, you got them. Uh, they are <laughs> Shalom, Shalom, Mariala. They're called the uh, Sakari, and um, you know they were scoffing at the fact that we, um, pretty much uh, praise, worship, show obeisance, etc., to uh, Yahweh Shai, who is the Son of God. All right. And, and uh, I forget who exactly was one of their deacons, which I don't really pay too much mind when it comes to their names. But as far as the doctrines that they push, you know, we try to, um, um, as the scriptures say, defend the gospel. All right. So that's what we're going to do. All right. We're going to show you that there's nothing wrong with praising uh, Yahweh Shai being uh, who the road ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. Okay. He is to be worshipped according to the scriptures. All right. Um, and as it said, it, it he um, counted not robbery to make himself equal with God. Now, is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus, is he the most high God? No, he is the son of God. But all things were given to him. OK. And by us praising and uh, worshipping him. OK. Uh, where it, it goes up to the heavenly father, Yahweh. Okay. So, um, the scriptures say, you know, ask the father, anything in my name. All right. Cause in reality, the heavenly father, Yahweh, he's not dealing with us. All right. That's why we needed a mediator. Okay. Cause the only way to get to the father is through his son. All right, so let's start getting these scriptures. I don't have anything in any particular order. All right, but, uh, you know, we're just going to touch on some of these points. So I want to start. <clears throat> let's start in uh, Matthew's, the second chap chapter. All right. And we'll see where the spirit leads us. So this is St. Matthew's 2. And uh, I'm going to start at 1. It reads, Now when Yahweh shy. Okay. Um, was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king. Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. And everybody, uh, Shalom, Shalom, sister. Shalom, Rob. A, um, um, you know, so these, uh, 
These were those wise men, you know, they say that, oh, there's three wise men. It just says wise men here. OK, but everybody knows the story about the wise men visiting. Uh, they got the whole Christmas story. That's all BS wrapped up with the birth of our Lord and Savior. But anywho, so these men were wise men. OK, so if you're a wise person, it means you have knowledge, wisdom and understanding. OK, so check this out. It says saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. And that star was a uh, um, with the understanding of the scriptures, that star was a chariot. OK, who the, the, the world today will call a UFO. OK, so they, they followed that star to find Yahweh Shai. OK, so let's just keep on reading. It says verse uh, four. And when he had gathered all the, oh wait, no, let me, let me, let me read verse two again, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. So who are these wise men coming to worship? They were coming to worship Yahweh Shai, okay? Yo, no, hey, uh. Uh, Esau Edom, all right, who uh, today will be the self-proclaimed um, uh, white race of people. They, hey, they, they know that the the uh, the UFOs are are real. Okay, they uh, they're reporting on that because they, hey, they know their time is up. That's why they got a space force now. All right, but here it is: the wise men specifically were trying to find the Son of God to do what to worship Him. OK. So if it was going off or if it's such a bad thing, these wise men would have known better not to have worship the son of God. But they but what they wanted to do was they wanted to find him so they could do what? So they could worship the son of God. All right. This is when he was uh, he was born. All right. I'm read it again. Verse two. And this is going to, um, you know, um, Defending the gospel going into, yes, we we can bow down and worship our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right. And up by us doing that, we still honor the father. OK, we still honor the father. So uh, back in St. Matthew's two and two. All right. I'm going to just get to the point for we have seen his star in the east. These are the wise men and are come to worship him. There you go. So that lets us know that Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus, he is to be worshipped. Now, check this out. Herod was such a damn demon, OK, which he was an Edomite. All right. Um, look at what he said. I'm going to just jump down to the point. Uh, I read verse seven. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. But here I was being a sneaky devil. All right, because he wanted a shalom, shalom, brother. He wanted to put Yahweh Shai to death because Yahweh Shai was the, you know, he was um, the king of the Jews. But not right then and there in that point, you know, he's going to return in his glory. All right. And that's all going to be established. OK, but um, um, at that time, he wasn't king. As a matter of fact, the people tried to make him a king and he pretty much was like, no, it's not my time for that. You know, but Herod was such a, a, a damn devil. He was trying to kill him even as a little as a little child. All right. So then there goes that one. All right, let's see what else I got. I got a couple of scriptures. All right, <clears throat> just bear with me. I'm gonna grab uh, St. John, the fifth chapter. And these guys are, they're saying that we're idol worshiping. All right, because we wanna show obeisance and reverence to our Lord and Savior, who, mind you, 
died to wipe away our sins, all right, that we may receive salvation, okay? Um, this is a St. John 5 and 22. It says, for the father judges no man, but he hath committed all judgment unto the son. That all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father, which hath sent him. All right. Hey, so if you ain't honoring the son, you ain't honoring the father. Again, the, the, the most high God. All right. Yahweh, he is not dealing with us. All right. He's only dealing with us through his son. All right. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is our mediator. Okay. He's like our lawyer. All right. The most high is, uh, you know, the, the judge. You got the lawyer, which is Yahweh Shai, and we're the we're the ones that need a lawyer, you know, <laughs> to basically get us get our case clean, pretty much. Which Yahweh Shai died for our sins, so we the, the Father's not dealing with us. All right, I'm gonna read it again. Uh, Saint John five and twenty uh, two, for the Father judges judges no man but hath committed all judgment unto the son that all men should honor the son and bowing down worshiping is a form of honor okay it says uh that all men should honor the son even as even as they honor the father. Again, he counted not robbery to make himself equal with the most high God. Now, does that mean he is the most high God? No, he is the son. All right. As you read in Corinthians, uh, the first Corinthians, the 11th chapter, it gives you the order. The most high, his son, the man, the woman. Okay. He gives you the order, the ordinances. All right, so that still stands. All right, it says, I'm going to read verse 23 again, that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father which hath sent him. So if you don't, if you don't show praises to his son, all right, if you don't um, give him obeisance and reverence and honor, th then you don't honor the father. All right, because he is the one who he sent. All right. When you read the scriptures, when um, when John the Baptist baptized our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. What the heavens opened up and what was said says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. All right. And then during the transfiguration, when um, I believe it was uh, Peter, James and John. All right. Because they're the ones who seen the vision of Moses. They seen Yahweh Shai. And then they seen, uh, uh, I believe it was Elijah, if I'm not mistaken. So they were like, yo, let's make them, let's make them all tabernacles. But the, 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 the God told them, the most high said, this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Okay. So, um, hey, we have to go through his son. All right. In order to get to the father. All right. Kind of the water, the water side, Mike, it was Elijah. Okay. So hey, if <laughs> you you ain't gonna slide past Yahweh Shai to get to God, ain't ain't no way at all. All right, let me grab uh, First John. Let me see. Mm. Let me see. Bear with me. It 
it says he said um let me see I'm gonna see what I was if I probably wrote this one wrong but let me just double check these scriptures I don't want to misquote nothing Okay, I mean, this this kind of touches on it. Let me see. First John five. I start at uh, I start at nine. It says, "If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which we have, which we hath testified of His Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in him. He that believeth not God." hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. All right. And the record is the scriptures. Okay. So, um, you know, these guys talking about this, I'm talking about the Sakari camp. All right. The, 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 uh, gorilla Hebrew Israelite called the, the Sakaris. All right. The that's witness of men for him that for deacon I don't even know who I don't whatever deacon whoever the dude's name is saying oh you're idol worshiping if you you know about uh worship Yahweh Shai or idolize him that's a witness of man because the the witness of God is greater and then we have the records all right and the, what does the record say the records say as we read in in John uh Matthew the second chapter. The wise men worshipped him. They, they were wise men. If they um, were wise and it wasn't, a, if it was a sin to do that, they would have never done that. And there's also other scriptures, which is the record, that clearly say that he is to be worshipped, which we're going to get those as well. Let me see. Um, I'm going to grab another scripture. Let's go to Philippians. All right. Because, man, how are you going to? You, you're supposed to speak extremely highly of the son of God, the one who came down to die for, for the sins of Israel. All right. And for you to say something like that. All right, that's that's man, you're 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 playing with fire. This is a Philippians. Uh, two and it says nine two and nine it says wherefore god also hath highly exalted him who's that yahweh shai and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of yahweh shai every knee should bow Ooh. come on now Wait, let me see. Question. Are you saying we are to worship Yahweh Shai? Oh, well, that's what the scriptures just say. Here, I'm going to read it for you again. Listen up. Listen up, Tosh. This is what the scripture says. Philippians 2. I'm going to start back at 9. Wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. All right. Which is Yahweh Shai his true hebrew name okay who the world ignorantly calls jesus check this out that at the name of yahweh shai every knee should bow that's verse 10 of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the sea everything's gonna bow down to him birds ants fishes angels all right, everything is going to bow down to him. All right. It says um verse 11 and that every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Okay? So every every knee is going to bow. All right? And by honoring the son, you're honoring the father. All right. By showing reverence, obeisance to um, 
his son, you, it, it, it goes up the chain of command and it goes to, to the heavenly father. So by you, you know, um, showing obeisance, reverence, etc., bowing down to Yahweh Shai, it's ultimately you're still doing it to his um, to the to the father as well. OK. All right. And Yahweh Shai is a king. All right. Hey, uh, when you read in the first Kings with King David. All right, uh, 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 Bathsheba bowed down to King David. Okay, was she going off? No, she bowed down to the king. All right, she was honoring her husband, King David, and he was with another woman, all right, in the room at the same time, which shows that a lot of women ain't like that today. All right, um, I got a couple of more. All right, let's go to John. 15 and excuse me oops wait no I must have wrote this one down that's um yeah, that's definitely not it. All right, that's fine. Let's go to um, let's go to Revelations, the fifth chapter. Cause a, hey, if you this right here, Revelations, the fifth chapter, clearly lets you know that our Lord and Savior, all right, is to is to be worshipped, is to be praised. All right. Okay, if you're a bit confused, that's fine. Um, we're going into uh, the Sakari Israelites saying that um, you're not supposed to idolize or um, honor, worship, praise God's son, that you're only supposed to do that to God. All right. Um, and I remember hearing them preach that like about five, six years ago as well. And it is it's being brought back up. And what we're proving is that God's son, Yahweh Shai, is to be praised, is to be honored, okay, etc. So let's go to the book of Revelations 5. I'm going to just read through it real quick. All right, it says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, nor, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Because when you read in Daniel, all right, Daniel was told to seal up the book, you know, all right, to the time, to the end which now we the book is open and it's going to explain it. It says, and I wept very much because no man was found worthy to open the book and to read the book, neither to look up uh, thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And that is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right. He was, um, excuse me. He was, um, the root of David. All right. He's that line of the tribe of David or of the tribe of Judah and behold, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And that lamb is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right, when you read, when you read in um the gospels, when um John the Baptist seen Yahweh Shai, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, all right, who was uh brought to to uh forgive the sins of Israel, roughly paraphrasing, all right. So that lamb is talking about Yahweh Shai. 
all right, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. It says, and he, verse seven, and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had took in, taken the book, the four beasts and the four and 20 elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of orders, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song saying, thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and has redeemed us to God by, by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, right? Because he was slain for the, as it says in Matthews 1 and 21, all right? It says what? It says, uh, he shall save his people, all right? Who was redeemed? The Israelites redeemed. Go to Galatians, all right? Galatians, uh, I think it's four. It says um, that uh, he came to redeem them that are under the law. Who were uh, Who's under the law? Or who was given the law, statutes, and commandments? The Israelites. And all, every kindred, tongue, and people, and nation, it was out of. So he brought them out of all of those nations because the Israelites were scattered throughout all the nations, okay? It's not talking about heathens. It's talking about us being among them, and he brought us out from among them. Verse 10, and hath made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So the kingdom of heaven is going to be on, on earth, okay? You're not going to be floating in the spiritual realm. It's going to, kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth, physical, flesh, you know, it's going to be on earth. All right. Verse 11. And I beheld and I heard the voice of a of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands saying with a loud verse a uh, voice. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Okay? So that's how we that's how we we honor him, okay? That's how we show him uh um uh show him glory. Let me read that again. It says um saying with the loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power. So this is the things he's going to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength. He's also going to receive honor and reverencing him, um, um, bowing down to him, praising him is a form of honoring him. By doing that, you're, that, you're doing the same thing to the father as well. All right. If you don't honor the son, then you don't honor the father as we read. OK, and glory and blessing and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth. As such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying. Blessing, honor, glory, and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. As we read, every knee shall bow, right? Saying the same thing, but check this out. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. So are are these elders, are they going off? No, because they're honoring the son. Okay. As a matter of fact, let me grab that in uh Psalms. This is Psalms 2 and 7. I would I I will declare the decree. Yahweh, the most high God, the Lord had said unto me, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Now, this is talking about God's son. We know that to be who? Yahweh Shai, who the road ignorantly calls Jesus. It says, ask of me, and I would give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, 
and the uttermost parts of the earth for thine possession. Because he's going to inherit all. Okay, he's going to inherit it. All right. It says, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. That's him ruling over the nations. As it says in Daniel's, he's going to have dominion over them. Okay. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Okay. It says, serve Yahweh, the Lord, with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and he perish from the way. <laughs> All right. And how do we kiss the son? By honoring him, by showing him reverence, obeisance, etc., worshiping him. Okay, that's how you kiss the sun. Okay, and not the, the sun in the sky, talking about the son of God. Okay, all right, you don't want to be on his bad side. Um, wait, what's going on in the comment section? Emmanuel, God with us, we call him Jesus. Well, I understand that that's what your Bible says in the English translation, but um. They didn't speak English. They, uh, when you read in Acts, the 26th chapter, he spoke in the Hebrew tongue. So you got to go, you know, you got to go to his, uh, the, his, his original true name. All right. Which is a Hebrew name because there's only one name given under heaven. All right. And the J that, uh, J E S U S name is another name. All right. Um, all right, so there you have it. Let's see. Um, oh, I'm going to give you guys a little nugget. All right, now we're going to switch things up. Yes, I'm fluent in Hebrew. All right. You want me to demonstrate it? I mean, there's no point in me speaking Hebrew uh, besides me calling on the name of God and his son in Hebrew to teach you that. Okay, but besides me speaking in Hebrew, that doesn't benefit anybody that's listening because... For the most part, we're we're speaking English, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the names of the heavenly Father. All right, you got Yahweh in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh. When you see the Lord in all caps in the Paleo Hebrew, this is what you're gonna see. When you see the name, really, it, 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 if you want to be more accurate, it would be Joshua. All right. Joshua, because jo Joshua in the Bible is the same name as our Lord and Savior. OK, if you have the understanding of that, you got to actually look that word up and it will tell you it's really Joshua, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. OK, so that, I'm going to just leave that there and I'm going to uh, toss you guys a little nugget. All right. This may go over some of y'all heads, but hey. <laughs> Everybody's not meant to understand some of these deep, dark mysteries of the Bible. I'm going to show you an example right here. So let's go to. Uh, wait, I think it's in 19. Give me a second. It's been a while since I've been in this uh, this section of the book. Oh, here. Yeah, yeah it is 19. All right. Check this out. All right. Check this out. This is um, Revelations 19 and 10. This is John. All right. Falling, uh, uh, talking to the talking to the angel. OK, this is a uh, Revelations 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Worship who? The angel. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. So the angel told him, hey, no, nah, don't don't do that. Don't worship me. All right. Check this out. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship God for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of of prophecy. So John bowed down to this angel and the angel told him, hey, no, nah, don't bow down to me because we're not supposed to worship angels, etc. So the angel told John here 
not to bow down to him. And I believe, uh, let me see, in Acts, Peter said the same thing to the one man uh, when he was going toward to Cornelius. He's out like, um, um, let me look it up right quick. Check this out. Give me a second. Bear with me. Uh, what is it? Acts five. Let me see if I could find it real quick. If not, I could just paraphrase it. As I was saying, um, I think that's like Acts ten or Acts eleven. Let me see if my brain serves me, my memory. Let me see. Uh. Uh, it's where the guys wait this is accent it's where the guys came to peter and they said uh, wait let me see okay no but um, Oh, yep, here it goes. See? Thank you, God. Acts 10 and 25. And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter took him up saying, stand up. I myself, I myself also am a man. So here it is. Peter, all right, a man, a man of the Lord, Cornelius bowed down to him to what? It says to worship him, but he told him not, get up, get up. Revelations, all right, what happened? John bowed down to the angel. The angel told him, hey, nah, don't, don't bow down to me. Get up, all right? Now let's, let's let, me, let me look this one up. And I think it's Joshua 10, but let me be sure. Um, okay, it's in Joshua 5. I was close. <laughs> so let's go to the book of Joshua. All right, this is a nugget. This is extra credit. I wasn't even going to go into this. So, all right, so check this out. This is Joshua 5 and 13. And it came to pass when Joshua... All right, when, when you look that name up in the Hebrew, it says what? Yahweh Shai, because he has the same name as our Lord and Savior, okay? When you understand um, the meaning of names, which means he saves, he delivers, okay? It says, but this Joshua is talking about the son of uh, the son of uh, Nun. All right? It's, a, it's a, from the tribe of, uh, I believe he's like from the tribe of Ephraim. Yep, Joshua, the son of Nun. Okay, the one who came after Moses. It says, and it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, art thou for us? Or for our adversaries. So he said, hey, you with us or are you against us? You know, this, he's talking to this, this man who he's seen. Check this out. Verse 14. And he said, nay, which means no. But as captain of the host of Yahweh, am I now come? So this man says, I'm the captain of Yahweh, of his host, meaning his armies. So this is. God's captain over all his armies. All right, keep up. It says, verse 14, and he said, nay, but as captain of the host of Yahweh, am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, what saith my Lord unto his servant? 
And the captain of Yahweh's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. But wait a minute. So Joshua bowed down before uh, Yahweh's captain of his armies. He didn't tell him, nah, hey, get up. Don't worship me. Nah, hey, why is that? So here it is in Revelation, John bowed down to the angel. The angel told him, hey, get up. Don't, don't worship me. Cornelius bowed down and worshiped uh, Peter. Peter said, hey, get up. I'm a man. So you're not supposed to worship man. You're not supposed to worship um, angels. But for Joshua, when he bowed down all right, and worshiped to this captain of Yahweh's host, he didn't tell him, hey, no, nah, hey, don't don't do that. Why? All right. That's yup. There you go. See, Rob is on it because that was Yahweh shy. OK, that was our Lord and Savior in his angelic form. OK, that was that was our Lord and Savior, Yahweh shy speaking to Joshua. All right. And he and Joshua bowed down to Yahweh shy. Yahweh Shai didn't say, hey, get up. No, who ought to be? No, because he, he's understood that he is to be praised. He is to be honored. He is to have obeisance and reverence show to him, which by doing that, you do that to the father. All right. And uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if I got any little side notes. Let me see. Ooh, ooh, let me get this. Hold on, hold on. How could I forget this one? I'm glad I double checked. The Wadi How about shy? All right, we're going to close out with this one. You're not supposed to honor Yahweh Shai. Oh, that's idolatry. That's idol worship. All right. For, the, for those dudes who say that, that's cool. All right. That's, all right, let's see what the scriptures say. I'm going to go to the book of Mark. Bear with me. Let me flip to it. Um, Mark, the fifth chapter. I see you, Robert. Okay. Robert been watching the videos. Rob been studying up. Check this out. Check this out. This is uh, St. Mark, the fifth chapter. We're going to start at the top. All right. And we're going to close out after this. It says, and they came over unto the other side of the sea in the country of um, Gadar, G Gadarins. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. So this is a man with a demon on him. Okay. A man with an unclean spirit. When you read unclean, it's because he has a demon on him. All right. So a man met him that had an unclean spirit. Verse three. Who had his dwellings among the tombs and no man could bind him. No, not with change. Because that he had been oft bound with fetters and chains and the chains had been plucked asunder. By him and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. So this dude just had like a whole bunch of strength. All right. Well, when people are demonically possessed, you know, they you could receive some type of uh, left handed powers, you know. So they were chaining him up. They had him shackled up. That didn't work. He would just break out of them and no man can tame him. All right. He was he was crazy. Check this out. Verse five. And always night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones because this dude was he was possessed with a demon. Verse six. But when he seen Yahweh Shai afar off, he came and worshipped him. So this demon had <laughs> this man that had demons on him came before Yahweh Shai and worshipped him. And he cried with a loud voice and said, what have I to do with thee, Yahweh Shai, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee by God that thou tormented me not. 
All right. For he said unto him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he and he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. So this dude had thousands of demons on him. All right. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. All right. And I'm going to just leave it at that. So even the demons. All right. Seeing you how shy was like, oh, shit. That's the son of God. Oh, and they bow down to him. Even the demons understand, all right, that he is to be praised, etc. It said all knees, heaven, earth, and in the sea, all things are going to bow down to him. Even the demons. All right. Let me see what's going on with this comment section. If I miss anything. Uh, that was pretty much the point. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, you know, this was an edifying lesson to those who needed to be edified. All right, I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory once again to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, which Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father. All right, Bahashim, Ba in Ha the Shem name. Yahweh Shai, the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. All right. Because uh, without Yahweh Shai, all right, we can't get to the father. So we call upon him in his son's name. We call on the father in the name of the son. All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Push this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very, very, very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. All right, till next time, Baba Ball.